Hello, welcome to day 14 of this 30 days react challenge. So let's go into this. Distance converter. Okay. 54.1% acceptance. In this lab, you will build a simple React application to convert distances between various units, centimeter, inches, milli, miles, feet, kilometers, and meters. Your task is to create a user interface with select elements for unit conversion, an input field for the value, select field for unit conversion. We'll have to select a unit from that. Uh, input field for the value, okay and a convert button okay finally got it so implement two drop down select elements to allow users to choose the unit for conversion use ids this this, this. okay select drop down in react js actually i think it's a select uh, tag and we have options in that I think we can use options or something like that let's see oh, okay it's a library I don't want to use that maybe this one yes let's copy this one okay so first one will be what do we have to do for the first one ids from unit so id from unit and for value we will write maybe input unit or let's write from unit only select from unit okay and we'll create the options which are this centimeter and should be centimeter inches feet meters kilometers miles okay inches feet meters kilometers it's we could have traversed through all the keys also but let's do the simple implementation first so we have these okay do we have a placeholder in this auto complete or focus form multiple name especially the name of the select was submitted within the form. no on input on request size okay so we'll have to do something similar to input to unit to unit okay that second now add number input field let's use that input type number placeholder input number slash this on change we know that we have to get this we'll use set input i'll have to create this function it doesn't exist right now but i'm just writing it e dot target dot value now let's set create this set input so for that const input comma use set input is equals to use state null or maybe empty i think empty is the better one okay so that is done now add a number input to id should be from value okay this should be a type number and have id from value okay id from value implement convert button button should be convert okay let's do that uh, 
I will add the ID here ID is equals to convert on click handle convert we will have to create this function again going to top creating this function okay conversion logic write the logic to calculate the conversion based on the selected units and the input value okay when the convert button is clicked the result should be displayed and result should be displayed in a div with id output value so let's do that it's all same old that we have been doing if you have done all the last videos i think it should be straightforward for you id will create a output here let's create this variable here similar to user state output set output sorry okay let's do that and const input number is equals to this parse float this so this will be the input number and we'll create the output number here is the simple markup to get okay <laughs> in this case if would have if we would have read this through it would have been easy but no worries we have already done that challenge this 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 i think we don't need to read the challenge right now okay so let's use this select we have these let's use it to use id okay vegetable select use id Here they have mentioned default value is orange, so we could have mentioned something else, but let's get rid of these. Okay, because they haven't mentioned it, so I'm getting rid of it. Reading the select box when submitting form. Yes, I want to read that. That's correct. So for that, handle submit form this e dot target form data method. This, 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 this. Nope. Selected fruit on change this. I was looking for that one. Okay, so instead of selected fruit, what will we use? set from unit okay uh, now we will have to create this input for uh, this state for that also set from unit set to unit from unit to unit okay this can be null i hope so this can be null from unit something similar here also but we'll use set to unit now what we will do is on click of the button we will just log all these things okay and if it works then we can do other things okay so const no console dot log input number which should be this similar to that from unit 
which should be this two unit which should be this let's try this run let's toggle if there are any errors and start no i'll select feet and kilometers and i'll write 100 convert and we have feet kilometers and 100 all of these are working great so now we have to apply the logic i will take a very simple example and apply logic on that and then based on that we can do other conversions so what i will do is i'll write kilometers which is 10 or maybe 25 and we'll convert it to meters so the answer for this one should be one kilometer has thousand thousand meters so it should be sorry yes thousand they are using okay they are taking centimeters base that's why they are multiplying it in 100 so what i'll have to do is i'll have to convert each one into centimeter and then multiply so if it is 25 and they have mentioned kilometers so it will become 25 then followed by five zeros centimeter and then i'll divide it by meters and i'll get the value that's how it will work that would be the simplest because they have taken centimeters as the base value that would be the easiest actually so what we will do is const in centi okay in default unit no base unit I'll convert the input into in base unit so I'll parse this not not parse actually conversion rates of from unit so for example from unit in this case is kilometer so I'll get the value as this and I'll multiply it with input number that we have now let's log this also in base units okay i have written base units because right now we are using centimeters as base unit but maybe we can change it right so in future so it will become easier and what if we have selected centimeter as the unit conversion then it be might become confusing so from that perspective i'm ke keeping it like this convert and we have base unit we got this so now const final to result unit is equals to in base unit divide by conversion rate of two unit yes it should be the output let's try this Hmm, syntax I did this, 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 where is it? It is working. Let me check if they have mentioned rounded to three decimals. So what we will do is two result unit is equals to this now two result units dot fixed i'm not again not sure if this will round up or not but at least this will stop till three decimal points refresh from feet to inches let's write six feet convert and it is 72 this let's try to run test case and if it passes that's great we'll remove all the consoles after that let's see precision conversion logic ids these are the three parameters i think they normally test on let's see why is it taking this much time it should have been a bit fast
yes it was great so that's it for the part 14 uh day 14 and do subscribe like these videos and uh, comment on these videos that's it thank you bye bye